one of the ways that people, the let it run is actually much more common than we, is, is in more places than we'd like to see. And when I was in Nepal, I was a mess, amazed that basically all the streams and rivers or anything close to the cities were basically open sewers and smelled such like. They were really gross. And so in that culture, you use water to wipe your butt. And so when you want to wipe your butt and take a poop, you go to where's the edge of the nearest waterway? The streams, the rivers, the lakes. I'll poop next to that so I can get some water free instead of paying the guy at the door. Um, so there's a lot of human waste that's washed directly into waterways to pollute the waterways with disease organisms and E. coli and, you know, kind of yucky stuff. So pooping in the water directly is bad number one. The, um, the flush toilet goes through waste treatment plants. And the good thing there is that they treat it secondary, ter you, know, se you know, primary, tertiary, sec or te secondary, tertiary. And each time it gets a little bit more pure so they can, you know, put it in the nearest waterway. So that they're, they're putting in a high amount of nutrients but not so many pathogens. It's said, and I don't know if this is true, that the town at the mouth of the Delaware, that the water has gone through seven s systems before it hits them and they take it out. And I said, really? They can't tell me they're taking water out of the Delaware River and c cleansing it up and putting chlorine in it and feeding it, you know, and people are drinking it. But I guess they do. But. Um, you, you, can, you can go through multiple links there. Um, the septic, I'm just going to gradually work my way around this uh, system here. The septic system is actually pretty good. We saw the one at Jill's today. She says, under that garden there is the septic system. We can capture a lot of those nutrients in the septic system and suck them back up in some of that water before it loses the system. And when you have the garden right above the septic system, that's where the nutrients and water is most available, bearing in mind you want to go with fruits again. And then below, because it's usually a slope, below the septic system you plant deep-rooted trees so they can pull out the nutrients and water that's going downhill. So you're trying, there's a system that says wherever you have a riparian zone, streamer, ephemeral stream or whatever it is, you want a buffer zone of uh, a really net rooted, net root roots between what's coming downhill, which has nutrients, and you want to take the nutrients out before they get to the water. And so a septic system, if you have one up here, you want deep rooted plants here before it gets to there to reduce the amount of water going there. Uh huh. Well, you know what? Buffalo chips and cow chips are famous for, yeah. for burning a lot of, you know, a lot of things been cooked over a buffalo chip fire. That's what they had to cook. That's like all they had. Yeah. Right, but we don't want to go out there with our human oh. manure. A biogas plant, and it, it, well, it'd be really great to have this slide right now. The poop goes into, it's actually a chute system that goes into this big tank and over that tank is a great big metal dome, usually, that's really heavy and, and there's a really good gasket in here. And the poop goes into the thing, there's a baffle in the middle, the stuff has to sort of work its way around here, it's getting digested as it goes, and then there's an outlet to another t place here where you can access, where you get the stuff out again to use for fertilizer. When it's running through this system here, it makes a lot of pressure and, and it, this top moves up and down depending on the pressure. And there's a pressure relief valve that goes over here and you have a, you know, you're probably compressing natural gas or burning it directly and you get the gas. And so you see all these people, I had, I, I have to find this, I hope I can get it. It's a picture in Belize of people with a, a piggery they were raising pigs, and they used the pig shit that went into the biodigester, bio and they used the pig shit to make perfume. 
because they had ylang ylang and all kinds of fragrant trees on the place and they had to have heat to distill the essential oils so they used the pig shit to make the perfume and they were very successful so th this it, this is very common in china and india there are millions of these you say well, i never heard of them but we'd never allow them they can't work it's probably against the laws of physics but there's millions of them in india and china it takes 10 people, a couple of cows, maybe 150 chickens, you know, maybe so many rabbits. It takes a certain amount of volume going in, but the volume can not only be manure, it can also be any other kinds of digestible plant matter mixed in with the manure, goes through the system, and the amount of nutrients that go in, you get plus the same amount at this end and that's all fertilizer that you, they use in the system, or you can use in the system. So you captured your nutrients, enhanced it, got a, another yield, and you still kept the nutrients in the system instead of throwing them away. Now, isn't that sound good?